Hey folks, you're listening to the Wrecking Crew Comedy Podcast. I'm Vito D'Amico, and today we're talking to the one and only Steve McCray. Say hi, Steve. Hey, Vito. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Steve, you got uh, the name, like your your name is kind of like, uh, it's like a country singer kind of name, right? Steve oh, McCray. Actually... Actually, there's a ballet dancer named, not after me, but he has the same spelling and everything. But I'm not him. But yeah, um, it's an Irish name. Scots Irish, to be exact. No, it's cool. And if you look at your old pics, I'm not going to tell people to go to your, your, <laughs> your, your whatever, you know, some people get bent out of shape. But you look like a young Pete Townsend. Uh, you know, I've heard Jim Croce. I haven't heard Pete Townsend. Who's Tim Cro? Who, who did you say? Tim Croce? Jim Croce. Uh, like Time in a Bottle. Oh, was he the one that bad, bad Leroy Brown? That guy? Uh, yeah, that was. Yeah, I had that him too. Yeah, I get them all confused. Yeah, I, I remember when I was a kid and he died, and then uh, I was like, well, "What the fuck?" You know, when you're you're at that age and you're like, "They people die." You they know, do. He died in what was it, seventy seven, seventy eight? It's it was, been a while. Yeah, it was either him or Cat Stevens. I don't know. I've heard a few. No, no, things. Cat's still around. Cat is he? Yeah, when Cat's he, still around. No, who I look like? I I don't remember. So I'd have to make the comparison. When he changed to Islam, he should have died. I'm just fucking oh, around. Yeah, I'm just yeah. I'm just being a jerk. Oh. Well, he got on the no fly zone. Did he? Yeah, the no-fly list. He couldn't uh, fly anymore after he converted. Don't you remember that? No, I don't remember that. I just yeah. thought, you, you know what sucks? I, I I like Cat Stevens, but then he's like, uh, what's a shame is his, you know, when he turned, when he, you know, became Muslim, he's like, I can't sing anymore. And he had to ask uh, the Islam, uh, like the high priest or whatever, the imams, if he was allowed to sing. And they said, yeah, but he had to sing like a fucking... Like, you had to go like... Ah, ah, ah. That is all I care if you sing or not. And it is awful. Like, it's it's nothing like uh, uh, what you're used to. It's like, yeah, you know, it's just awful fucking... It's like, don't sing, Cat. Don't don't even... Don't even call yourself Cat Stevens anymore. You've, you've destroyed your fucking legacy. Does he do it facing Mecca, like, five times a day? I don't know. He's a fucking... I don't know. He's lost his mind. Like, if you ever watch his biography... He does this whole thing of, you know, I was sitting in the hospital. I, he was one of the, like all of us, we all search for shit, right? We all want to know, you know, what, you know, are you Catholic? Are you, you know, the Catholic doesn't agree with you. Maybe I should, I should try being a, a Jewish or Buddhist or some new age shit. And of course he went to fucking Islam, um, which whatever, if you want to convert to that, great. But I, I just think, uh, uh you know just the clothing alone fuck that you know i'm not gonna wear a bed sheet and like that's what he wears like I, i'm like well what, what are you wearing this shit for you look like an idiot you know um, i didn't even know he was still alive so that tells you how much i pay attention well he, he's completely gone off the map and it's like you're you, you know I, I get it he's a gentle fucking you know it was weird i saw an interview remember when solomon rushdie was like mm -hmm. uh when he pissed off islam and then uh, the satanic papers or yeah, yeah what satanic is it? verses it was satanic verses yeah yeah right. and holy shit they're still is he still do they still want to kill him i think there's i think the fatwa got um, removed but again who knows where these people are i mean i, I would think that if they wanted him dead they would he would probably have been dead by now you but know, you know what i would they, bygones by bygones right i don't know i was thinking about the other day and I, I i if i ran into him i would be like can you do me a favor can you say i killed you and we'll make a video, and it's like a million bucks. I'll give you like fucking uh, half, all right. Um, and I'll just pretend I killed you, and then when I collect the money, just come out and laugh about it. Who would you know how to send it to? N well, you send it to him. You put it on Islam. You just you send it to him. Go uh, <laughs> to the fuckheads at Islam. Here, watch this shit. And then they watch it. Then they go to the king or the the fucking whatever they got, and then he would go, oh, "Great, he's dead." They would send me the money, and oh, but then I would be killed because they would go. Allah, Allah Akbar. They would go. Oh, he he lied to us. Oh, he's dead. So then I guess I, me and Solomon Rushdie would probably be in a cabin, stuck in the woods somewhere. Ah, eh, well, whatever. You, you, yeah, I'd be both on the run. Oh. Yeah, so you couldn't. Spend, you can't spend money if you're dead. Yeah, that kind of. Yeah, I didn't think that part through. But that would be cool, though. It'd be great. Like it'd be kind of like that. For fifteen seconds, you could at least like laugh about it, and then you're like, "Oh, I'm fucked," you know. But uh, uh, what were we talking about? The best laid plans of mice, mice of men to get you um, 
I guess, retired by, by killing Salvador Restai. Yeah, yeah, we got to figure out a way of killing him, but not killing him for real. He's a nice guy. Yeah, no, no, but, fake, yeah. Oh, yeah, what pissed me off about I, I, what but Cat Stevens did was he goes on TV and he goes, they're like, uh, hey, should they uh, kill uh, Solomon Rusty? And he's like, well, you know, if they, they you ever, when somebody converts and not even from that fucking country, they're just annoying. He, he's like, you're like, you know, if somebody uh, uh, is rude to the prophet, uh, they must die. Fuck, you are so dumb. Well, who you do know? you think are more fanatical, the converts or the people that actually were raised around this? Because it's hard to tell sometimes. I've, no, I've they're, both, they're both fucking... They're both about the same, they're, isn't they're, it? You ever see a ginger Muslim? Oh, Aren't they that, just... The is way? that even loud? I Gingers don't, don't have souls, I thought. I don't, you know, for me, it's just like, like, no one, first of all, no one likes you. You know, so then I guess they must have. But I remember there was this one broad. I remember she I was like she was good looking, like absolutely fucking gorgeous, gorgeous ginger woman. Um, and well, she didn't convert or anything. But uh, uh, yeah, if you convert and you're whiter than white, they must laugh at you. You know, it's like joining an African tribe. You go there, you go, hey, this is Mamuto, this is uh, Momo, -mo and here, look, it's it's Steve. And you're sitting there like... Happy. I don't think I'd fit in too well. Well, that's I, what I, I mean. Like, I, They would spot you yeah. in the room just going, is he a good... I am whiter than white. Is he a good hunter? And they're like, no, <laughs> no, he's not. He's he's horrible. Um, is he fast? No, no, no. He <laughs> suck at everything else. He's good at math, though. Um, uh, what was I going to tell you? The Oh, yeah, so for people that don't know Steve uh, McRae, Steve has got a popular uh, YouTube channel, and he always has these... Uh, the only thing I criticize about the YouTube channels is they're too long. You'll have them go on way, way too long, which is good in a way um, for people to come in and out of conversations. Um, but I, the, the thing is, when I start something, even if it's a horrible movie, I have to watch it. So if you got like an eight-hour hangout, I'm like, oh, for fuck's sakes. Uh, oh, don't do that to yourself. No, no. It's, it's just, but I, that's the disease I have. I have to start it from beginning to end. It's like anything I do. If I read a book and I put it down, I oh, even if it's a terrible book, I have to read it. So I, I have a hard time when you have those long hangouts, but they're very, um, uh, you know, eight hours. You're going to have some really uh, big nuggets. And people that don't know, um, you have everything from, You'll have conversations with uh, Christians, uh, flat earthers, uh, people. Uh, I don't know. You, you we, we, explain to me w what the whole YouTube, uh, your channel is all about. Well, I'm, I'm, if you haven't noticed, I'm, I'm kind of starting having two different types of hangouts. Um, obviously, there's the one type of hangout where people just kind of have an open discussion. I'll, I'll give an initial topic just to get things go going, but that's kind of free form after that. And as you can see by listening, and most of them, they go every different place. Um, and then I have the other ones that are much smaller. I've tried to been limiting it to maybe three hours, four hours on some of them. And then I have my actual videos that I will create that are about four to six minutes because most people have the attention span of about four to six minutes, right? Yeah. And so, you know, I, I can't ask them to I'm watch sorry, an eight-hour hangout. What, what were you saying? Yeah, I'm, well, I'm, I, I mean? don't know what the hell I was saying. See Somebody remind I mean? me. The attention span of people yeah. today is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. We're talking. Well, they want everything in, in, in sound bites, right? They want everything quickly. Well, you know what I love? I love it when they take the best of, and we'll talk about the the Darwin's de 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 deity there, um, where the best of, where it's just, <laughs> just the you know the nuggets, the the where you know he'll he'll lose his mind or be an idiot, but you uh, you have, um, I know people just want nuggets, but it's great to listen to the whole story of why it ended up that way, you know. Why, why a conversation ends up like you'll have, uh, you know, uh, one of my, uh, you know, I shouldn't say it is, is I, it. I love it when you, you know, you kind of shit all over Rocket Ronnie. Oh, and today that is our, our secret word, uh, Rocket Ronnie. If anybody at the end of the month uh, says Rocket Ronnie, you get a 30 day free membership uh, to see uh, Kimmy Kaboom's uh, webpage. And it's like, totally you get to see the whole, yeah oh it's beautiful like she's wow, beautiful but you, time. That's yeah, awesome. yeah you get like 30 days and behind the scenes stuff and you could call her and 
it's really really you can't hang out with her or whatever but um i think that's called stalking yeah yeah but you get that whole so remember the the secret word is rocket ronnie um is uh, do you want that to be the secret word what do you want the secret word i love that does it yeah rock well actually i think it's secret words though i think word is singular so it'd be it's secret words all right so secret words what do you want the secret words to be no rocket ronnie works it's too easy. Or Ron Ron the Magic Man. Yeah, he yeah. has a lot of unique nicknames. Okay, okay. I'll do something that I could remember because I don't want somebody uh, saying Rocket Ronnie. Uh, Rocket Ronnie is wrong. That's a tongue quit. You know what's funny? If they can actually say that, they earn something. Rocket Ronnie is wrong. Boy, yeah. You have to actually slow yourself down to say that. Say that three times quickly. Yeah. If, if anyone wants to uh, email or catch us on facebook or or uh leave a message i you know this isn't like a scam for real you will uh win a 30-day uh, uh membership to uh kimmy kaboom who won uh two years in a row uh big beautiful titties uh, uh, uh of the year and i mean i swear to you i'll, I'll put up the pick you uh, yeah i gotta see this oh yeah she's gorgeous like she's she's the total package Total big I've ass. I've heard the name, but I don't. I don't want to recognize. You know, it. everybody's heard the name, and then when you watch it, you're like, "Holy shit! I remember I jerked off to this." You know, you're like, "Oh yeah, that yeah. good." Oh yeah, she is. She's totally good. Um, she'll probably yell at me tomorrow because I taped her, and the sound was all fucking screwed up. So uh, I didn't tape her having sex. We we kind of talk a little bit, and uh, um, yeah, I gotta you know talk to her again. So she'll probably yell at me. But uh, um, yeah, so. You have one of my great, I hate to say it, because I always feel, this is my thing about uh, Ronnie. I feel Ronnie is, um, yeah, I hate to say it, but An mentally, idiot. no, mentally challenged. I do. Um, and a lot of people are going to say that's wrong. I remember I got in an argument with some guy. He was like, no, that's bullshit. He's not mentally challenged. And I'm like, yes, he is. He's, he's fucking dumb. Okay. Um, if you got a constantly, if I got to argue with you, like half the shit that you talk about, the TTP, whatever, CC, whatever, <laughs> that shit, um, if if I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about, and I, I clearly don't believe anything that Ronnie's saying, because when you have a pro come on, did you not have the Australian guy? He was a professional. Uh, you've had Fiona, who's who has, owns three degrees. Um, I believe Science Sam, uh, Exapod Avenger, Mithros. Yes, there's uh, a lot of them that have degrees. Methodist. Yes, there's also uh, uh, I have a lot of PhDs that come visit my channel. Yeah, and they they what what happens is those guys come on there because they they hear Ronnie and they're like, holy shit, that guy is like wrong, and they try and fix uh, his mis mistake. Which if you ever listen to this guy, it is brutal. Like, it is absolutely uh, brutal. And I remember hearing uh, what he did to you was, I thought, was really disgusting when he called you, you know, your deceased father's name and he knew your father had passed. See, that's where I thought the guy has mental problems, you know. Mm -hmm. um, that, to me, would just beyond yeah, burn, that, burn my ass. It, 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 it didn't really bother me so much as the fact I was kind of stunned because I've seen Ronnie do some pretty despicable things before. But th what happened was, you know, I was I, I was kicked out of his hangout because there's only been two hangouts that I've ever been in with him that he I actually left voluntarily. Every oh, time. He, he, you didn't yeah, get kicked out? Didn't didn't you didn't get kicked out? Well, I, I, the first time I did on my main account, okay. right? on my account that I use now, Steve. And um, he, he wasn't finished with me, I guess, after he ejected me. Even though I said I was leaving, literally, I'm like, okay, guys, you know, I'm, I'm leaving. He decided to eject me anyways. This is how low this guy actually is. And so I, I only have one other sock account, contrary to what people may think. I, I actually have two or now, but at the time, I just had my deceased father's. Um, so I went back on his account, and he kept calling me my dad's name Jeez. and knowing it was me. And I'm like, you know, hey, look at Rocket Ronnie. You know, excuse me. Um, you, you, you please just you don't need to call me that because that's not, you know, that's not my name. Oh, that's the, the thing it has on the screen. I'm like, so? I'm like, that. you know, you kicked me out. I couldn't come back to my main account. But this meant nothing to him. Um, but that's one of the reasons, you know, the, vid the videos that I do that are pointing out his, his errors, right, which are uh, tremendous. I mean, they're practically wrong. I mean, he's so yeah, incredible. Yeah. It's disturbing. Let me just uh, go back a sec. Uh, that whole thing about your dad, I'm sorry that your dad passed. And uh, that that's awful. Um, 
But to do that, that's what bothers me the most, to know that your father had passed and then by calling you by his first name. Um, here's a guy that uh, spreads Christianity. You know, he's a Christian. Uh, have, uh, atheists have no morals. Uh, uh, to do that, Steve, I'm sorry. That is that is absolutely, that bothers me a lot. Did you, did you see the post that Spoken just did a few about a uh, half hour ago? But Maybe about I've hour talked, ago? And I've, I, that's another mentally challenged person. I've spoken to Spoken, and he is, uh, we, we got into this thing about ghosts. And do you ever get somebody that just says something completely idiotic that hurts your head? No, that never happens to me. Okay, well, he, 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 <laughs> he see my videos? <laughs> about four or five times he said something to me where it physically hurt my head. Oh. I was just like, would you please shut the fuck up? God, you're stupid. You know, yeah, that is to me my, my, any, I didn't see the post. Go on about, uh, um, Ronnie. Well, Sorry. he, well, well, real quick, um, you know, you're talking about, you know, Christianity and, um, you know, I'm an agnostic, right? But I, I mean, there are many Chris, great Christians are in a community. I mean, I love Fiona. I love Jade. Um, there's quite a few number of them I can mention, um, Blackjack. So, um, but as people know, you know I'm, I was between jobs. Um, I sold my house because my dad was, was being ill, um, and he was n near my daughter. So I sold my house to be near my daughter and my, my, my father, who was not in good shape. And spoke, you know, has been saying things like, well, Steve's unemployed. Steve's unemployed. He can't be too intelligent if he doesn't have a job. And so he posted something about some meal that he said, hey, Steve, you know, if you had money, you can have four of this kind of meal. I'm like, you know, first of all, you know, I've had money in the past and I don't think that's the status. And I, even when I had money, I have never been so cold to 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 put somebody down that's in between, you know, jobs because right. things do happen. We've been like people get laid off. You move. In this case, I had to quit my job and sold my house, sold my home to move somewhere else to be closer to my father to help him out. This meant nothing to him as a Christian. Right. I mean, it just meant absolutely nothing to him. And it was just kind of despicable. Yeah. The fundamentalism that's going through these people's minds when they have such a haughty, uh, self-righteous attitude. Um, and it's really amazing because, you know, even when I, when I was in good shape, you know, I supported people. I helped them out. Um, it wasn't anything for myself. It, it wasn't I'm, I don't feel like I'm doing it because a God told me to or that the Bible instructed me to. I did it because of just altruism. Yeah, I think I think they lack that. I think they don't understand what that's like to do something just for selfish reasons. Yeah, to me, I, I find that even worse when somebody says, you know, uh, you know, I did that. Like, it's like they're they're trying to buy their way to heaven. It's kind of like, you know, mm -hmm. I did this to the invisible man. So he will give me brownie points so I could get in, you know, to hang out with him. Which, to me, if you ever start a gang, the last person you want is an ass kisser. You know? Like, to me, it's like you, you got in here to be a, a sniveling fuck. You didn't do it because you love me. You did it because you're a sniveler. You know? Um, and, and to me, I, I, you know, doing shows to help all people of Haiti, I don't do that because of you know, some imaginary, you know, hide and seek champion. I do that because it's just, I know that helps some poor kid, you know, or some person needs clothing or medical care. I do that just for myself. Not, not, you know, people, do you do that for God or do the, no, it's just, you do that just to help out a person, another person in need, you know? Um, and that's cool that you do that. But to see, I think you you open yourself up a lot uh, when you let people know, you know, I'm not working right now or whatever, and they use that against you instead of saying, "Hey, Steve, I saw this post. Uh, try out this. You know, it's, it's close to where you live. Uh, try out this. This there's a uh, whatever a supermarket opening here. Here, here's this. Here, check it out. Send your resume there. Instead of doing that, these fucks will will uh, say something stupid or or really. I mean, do you really need uh, that, you know, yeah, and I've actually had people do that. I mean, I, I should, I think I, I, I should have said for non selfish reasons before, but, um, I have had people have to do that. Like, like Hannah has helped me re rewrite my resume. Um, and it's, it's pretty good. I mean, I have a pretty good, you know, past. Um, those are the kind of things that I find to be very helpful. Had I had no reason to help me out with my resume or do any other assistance, but they do it because, um, like you said, they, they just want to. They're not doing it for any kind of special dispensation from their from some deity that they believe in. Yeah. And I think that is far better to do something just because you want to help somebody than feel like you're obligated to because this is your belief system. And I'm not knocking that. I think it's wonderful people have belief systems, and I think it's wonderful 
that people do things because of their religion when it's a good thing to do. When they preach their, you know, the gospel and they live according to it and they help the hungry, feed the poor, clothe the, you know, clothe the, the naked, all that kind of stuff, I have no issue with that. I think that's absolutely great. But when it comes contingent upon other things, hey, do you want a sandwich? Read the Bible here. Yeah. Let me give you a Bible, you know. That, I, I, I don't know, does, it kind of sticks in my craw. It's like, yes, no, no, it no. does. It does. It's like, yeah, do you, you know, yeah, just, okay, just so give, not, give, them a, give them the sandwich first. How about giving them the sandwich? Exactly. Give them the sandwich first, and then if they start coming back, say, you know what? We also have got, you know, you want to come in and talk, you yeah. know? That's fine. I got no issue with that. That's up to them. But it's not, shouldn't it be contingent upon, here is the scriptures, now I give you a sandwich. That's obscene. Yeah, I remember going to a Baptist church, and the guy, I, I sat in there just to see how they do everything. And and uh, I remember after asking him, what, what is this for? Why do people pass out money? Like, I'm Catholic. When the plate comes by, we get, you know, you give a bit of money or whatever. Um, and I didn't know that they already give, uh, you know, like an envelope full of coin. I didn't know that. And what it is is like fifteen percent of their earnings. And I, I asked wow. him, I said, What what you know, what is that? He goes, Well, you know, a lot of people give their their you know, money to the place. This place cannot stay open without, you know, them, you know, if you become a member of the church, you're expected to pay, you know, uh you're supposed to give some money. And I'm like, Well, what if you don't have any money? And he's like, Well, that's not really good. You know, you gotta you gotta push your you know, you you gotta show God you love him and I'm like, it's it was like a sales pitch. And I'm like, well, how much do you give? He's like, well, you know, you're supposed to give like 15%. And I'm, it was Steve. It was like, you know, that uncomfortable, you know, where's the door to this place? You know, get me, it, out, it, get it, me it, out of here. It, it's like, you know, when you go to a dealership and they're just constantly trying, even any place you go to, if you go, you know, you go to a lot of shows, the first thing I hate, the very first thing I hate is when they ask for money. Anybody. Like, I, I, you know, like, if you go any place, I remember uh, uh, being a fan of the atheist, uh, this atheist thing, and uh, one of them was, uh, was her name, Sarah or something, and she was like, uh, hey, if you want to help out, you know, you could always give money. Instead of just saying hi, or, you know what I mean? It's just saying, how you doing? How are things? Or whatever. It's always like, hey, give money. Money. That's yeah, that got. should never be first. That I mean, should never be first. Never be first. I mean, obviously, people know that I do have, you know, I have a Patreon and I have other things like like most creators do. Um, but I've tried to provide a content for it, right? I don't want anybody to donate to my channel that doesn't like my channel, right, or doesn't want to be a member of the Great Debate and and um, doesn't think that I put forth a good product, right? Why would I want that? That's something that is is ethical to me. That. I just don't want the handout. I want something to be given to somebody in response to, you know, their needs and their and their wanting to listen to something. I have people that actually listen to my channel, you know, when they're at work and when they're just, you know, doing things around the, the house. And I'm flattered by that. I, I I'm thrilled to death that people want to take the time to listen to what my hangouts are about and my videos. And then if they feel like it's something they want to contribute to and be a part of. Then I then I'm happy with that, right? I got this so guy from. That's North the second thing to me is the money. I I, I like the fact yeah. that people do listen. I got a guy from North Carolina. He pays so I don't speak. So um, <laughs> that is sweet. You know what? I pay people to do that for me too. Hey Steve, shut up. Here's a dollar. Um, no, but I even Ronnie even probably would. even Catholics or any type of Christianity or anything or anything that already wants money off you, I always it pisses me off. I'm like, I get it, you need money, but fuck, it's just like the first thing out of your mouth, like, gimme, gimme. It's like, shut up. If you like it, if you like the product, exactly. Hey, throw me a couple bucks or whatever. I understand things. You know, it, it, it's time and money to do these things. You got to pay. Uh, your internet you you know uh you got to pay you got bills to pay hydro um and it hydra, helps out hydra hydro what did oh, i say I hydra? hydra oh hydra <laughs> i think it's hydra God, I, like, I wish i, I worked know. for hydra Hydra and the Illuminati. yeah you know i wish i worked for hydra that'd be wicked and then uh, uh to work for an that evil would... scientist that would be a dream just to be it's his funny. his yes yeah. man just yes sir yes yes i'll do this yes um yeah, so Ronnie, the other day he was talking to a, his name was Rue or Ruby or Ruth? Ru Ruhif. Ruhif? 
Yes, Rui. Why do they always pick up fucking stupid names? Like, I, I'm sure he's a genius, but he's kind of... He, he's very smart. I, I know he's a genius, but the name, god damn it, it's awful. Just come up with a different um, name. He doesn't, he doesn't mind if you call him Glenn. That's the other Yeah, name call him Glenn. By. Just Glenn. Let's call him oh. Glenn. Ruhif. Okay. Jesus Christ. It's like fucking Ruhif. Um, he was absolutely polite, kind. Uh, and I've even seen Science Sam do this where he has talked to the person and you're kind of talking to them. Um, you have to kind of be a little stern. Uh but kind, you know what I mean? You're not trying to be, I know everything, but you're kind of saying, well, I mean, so some of the shit with Ronnie was just, he'll ramble and ramble to the point where you forget what the fuck he was talking about. You know, like, if if you're trying to give me an answer, Steve, and I cut you off and just ramble about some other shit, it's kind of hard to get back to your original point, you know, and that's his game. Glenn, Glenn has a really good way of uh, actually making very things succinct, right? For example, um, when he was bringing up the, one of the papers that Ronnie was going over, and you got to remember, Ronnie does not know any about this stuff. He really just doesn't, right? He just pretends to, and when somebody who actually does know about the topic, such as Glenn, will present to him in something, he just goes into like defense mode. He just goes into shutdown mode and just starts spewing jar- uh, jargon bombing and word salad. That's all he knows. Yeah, and so. Rui has a really good way of shutting this down. For example, when um, Ronnie had asked him, you know, well, have you even read this paper? And and Glenn was like, yeah, come on, champ. I mean, he, that's all he said, right? Yeah, come on, champ. It was it wasn't even something worth addressing, right? I mean, here's a guy that has has a blog on on genetics. Um, right. He's actually refuted Dr. Je- Je- Jeffrey Tompkins from Answers in Genesis, and actually noted to him one of his things were wrong, and it was wrong. Like every every time he does put something out. And Tom has actually we sent it his paper, right? He, Glenn was correct. Yeah, Glenn, he has a big wig. Like that's that's the thing when you got somebody that knows their shit like that, you you can't argue with them. You can't. I'm sorry. And the the problem is, it why I watch Ronnie is see this this is my thing. I I kind of feel bad for the guy because I think he he found a a world of. Everybody has their own little world on YouTube, right? So I think that's his little world. And for some reason, you know, uh, people believe his shit for you know for some fucked up reason. I don't, I don't know, but they believe. And for me, I don't care if you want to believe that and use what he says in the real world and apply it. It'll get you nowhere, and you know that. Yeah. You know, you'll have people laugh at you, and you you just and you you will learn the hard way that. Ronnie Rodriguez, whatever the fuck his name is, it's not going to work, you know. It's not. It's not even contestable stuff, though. I mean, the, the, the things he says aren't contestable by whatever denomination or religion you want to be. It makes no difference. There's certain things he says that is just absolutely wrong. Okay, give when me an example. Like, give um, me an example. Well, example Something uh, simple, though. That uh, DNA. He claims that DNA degrades in water. He put, he said you put DNA in water, poof, it falls apart to its constituent parts. Nucleotides go everywhere. Nitrogenous bases go. Ah, and fall apart. Right. Uh, it's just absurd for two big reasons. One, we have DNA in every cell, right? I mean, we have well, most every cell, um, but we have DNA is part of the is part of our, our makeup. And if you have it in water, it's if it falls apart, how the hell is it going to do its job? Right? right? It's completely absurd. And the other thing is they they actually do what's called PCR reactions, polymerase chain reactions, and this is how they just make more DNA out of the DNA they have. And you couldn't do that if it fell apart in water. Right. The reason he got confused is because there's dissolve and there's degrade and dissolve just means to go into solution. OK. DNA dissol- dissolves in water. It goes into solution. It actually produces a little uh, what's called a hydrogen ion, but it doesn't fall apart. Right. Well, he thought these two words were the exact same thing and he uses them interchangeably, contrary to what everybody has told him. No, they're two distinctly different things, Ronnie. But, of course, his version is, is his own, and he thinks that everybody else in the planet is wrong. This is the, the world of delusion that he lives in. But that's what I mean, Steve. Like, he I, – I, I mean, I even knew that, believe it or not. And I am – you know, I'm no genius. I, Me and Ozzy, we talk about philosophy for hours. I love Ozzy. Um, he's – he's, 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 uh, no, I want to talk about Ozzy, too. Uh, 
uh, that that's the thing. If I don't understand something, okay, and I've done this, and I've done this with Bert Poole, and I've done this with Ozzy, uh, they will take their time, okay, and this is the beauty of the community. If Ozzy knows that you're sincere, he will take time from his day and speak to you about it. I remember he, I, I had to ask him a question because I had a, an important interview and I wanted to do the, the to ask somebody a, an important question. I wanted to word it in a way that it, it wasn't going to be the same regurgitated stuff. I wanted to hit um, David Silverman with something different, okay? I never got to ask him that because it, it got to the point where four other people asked him the same question, okay, uh, before I had the chance to ask him. But Ozzy took his time. And he made sure, he's a very polite man. He's like, you know, oh, great, you finally put, I never show my face, but not that you want to see it. I don't want people throwing up. I just want people, you know, he wanted to make sure that I understood and he wanted to see it in my eyes. You know, when somebody understands something, you could kind of see it in their eyes. So Yeah, they're a little light of, light of yeah, oh, yeah, I get yeah, it. Yeah, he wanted sure. to see that to see if, if I was retaining anything he was saying, okay? So he took his time and he, 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 you know, he's like, okay, let me explain this to you. He explained it in a way that was beautiful. And, yeah, you know, he, and he will do that. Yeah. And, he, he, and he, he will do it. Do, he'll do it off air too or on air. It doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah. yeah. Just take his time. Class act all the way through. Yeah. Class act. Um, what I don't understand is if, if Arani was sincere, uh, if he wanted to know this stuff, he could easily, you know, talk to Drag about it. He could talk to you about it. He can talk to fuck uh, Fiona about it. And it all comes down to ego. Like, I know this stuff. It, it, it's absolutely ridiculous. It's like me working on uh, engines on a lawnmower and then me arguing about Ferrari engines with Ferrari mechanics. It, it's very far, funny because um, what he knows is very basic stuff, okay? Um, it doesn't really require that much knowledge to, um, to the level what you think it does. When we're talking about things like cellular respiration or electron transport chain, it's not that complicated surface level, right? Until you get some more myopic stuff. But when Ronnie talks about this stuff, he doesn't even know what he doesn't know. And so the people that are listening to him, the ones that you had mentioned before that think he you know, knows something or follow him or whatever – None of them understand this stuff. They know less than he does. Mm -hmm. And to give you a real quick example of this, you know, one person who used to go to his hangouts decided on his own to, to try to get this whole DNA degrading in water thing. And and he, he, he went into one of the hangouts and he said, you know what? I did this research. Found out Ronnie was right. And I was listening to this going, oh, really? And Wait, he, they, so he said that Ronnie was right about the well, water? Hey, like, well, he said, he said, I did a little research on it and found out that DNA does degrade in water. I, that perked my ears up. I'm like, what? Okay, right. let me listen to this. And so the other people in the hangout, uh, it was Veckel and um, I think it was Veckel and a few other people, they said, uh, well, can you explain it to us? And they said, he said, sure. And he started explaining to them how this happens. And he was just so wrong. He was like, they asked him, like, you know, what's the sugar on the DNA here? And he started pointing to all the nitrogenous bases. And I'm like, no, no, no. So, not to get too technical, I, I I jumped in there and I said I said uh, Odin, you, can can I explain to you what's going on here and what what is the difference between dissolve and degrade and show you the, the parts of the DNA and break it down for you and maybe kind of get you to understand? He said sure. Right. He has not been back to his room since. Oh good, you know, that's only great. Comes but that's great. I mean, that's fantastic. Um, he probably you know was embarrassed. Um, you know, when that happens, I mean, that's happened to me where I'm like, oh, fuck, I thought I was right. And y you feel like a tool. But he, he was willing to listen. He was willing that's to learn. Great. That's and wonderful. now he's majoring in biology. That is wonderful. He's actually going to college on it. That is wonderful. Um, that is great. And that's a great thing, man. That 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 you should pat yourself on the back for shit like that. Um, for me, that is important to do that to people. Hey, if you want to learn, there are people out there that will help you. I mean, mm -hmm. Ah, you know, uh, Fiona uh, believes in God, right? Yep. She's so I don't understand why why Ronnie needs to argue with her. They're pretty much on the same side about God. You know, it's like I don't understand why he doesn't uh, like. Even if I don't like somebody, Steve. Okay, if I don't like somebody, if somebody says to me that guy's funny, 
and the guy's got a million records and he's 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 been on TV and movies and I go, "Well, he's not funny." You know, it would be crazy for me to say Eddie Murphy's not funny. Well, he is. I'm sorry. He may not be yes. uh he may not be funny uh to you, but to millions and millions and millions of other people, he is funny. Uh Fiona has credentials. She's got three of them, I understand, degrees. Just because you don't like somebody, um, it, it doesn't mean they're wrong. It, you know, I mean, if they're right, they're right. If you don't like the person, that is totally something separate than the subject that you're arguing about, you know? True. It, 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 Roddy places intelligent design ahead of anything else, right? He starts with the presupposition that intelligent design is the only real science. He's said this numerous times. To him, there is no other science but intelligent design, and then everything flows from that. Well, the problem is he has never demonstrated intelligent design. He's never demonstrated any of the core propositions for intelligent design. He's never demonstrated any experiments that one could do for intelligent design. And he just has this, this rhetoric that says, well, you know what? The experiments have already been, already been done. And when you ask him, well, which experiments were done to validate intelligent design? Oh, just go back and watch some of my other videos. Okay, which, which video? Can you show me where this is at? Because I would really like to see this. And there's nothing. Yeah, ever. It's, it's not just that. It's also the jabs. He, he'll... Just be rude. Fucking awful jabs about the person. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, and where you're kind of, you know, I, for me, I couldn't talk to somebody like that. You know, I, I would just, you know how most of these conversations go with me. I threaten the person. Um, I ask them where they live. Uh, can we hook up so I could hit you? I, I couldn't handle But you have that. a very low threshold for stupidity. I do, I do, because... I, it, I remember when you when, met Arcane. When, when somebody it. tries to be stupider than me, it pisses me off, okay? So, it... it do you it, remember when you met Arcane? Yeah, that, yes. And that Arcane was, was uh, for people that don't know, Arcane, I, I got into a... Hey, guys, go out there to these Google Hangouts. They will blow your mind. Hogtide, uh, another... People are like, Hogtide. Right? Hogtide is a, another popular YouTuber that a lot of people go to their their uh, YouTube pages. Hog, there's Hogtide, there's Steve uh, McRae, um, there's several other people out there uh, that you could go out to and watch these hangouts. And they're absolutely, it's, you know, there's fuck all on TV. Watch you couldn't write this stuff, could you? No, no, you I, see, I would it's make just... a movie, Steve, just on the hangouts, yeah. okay? I really would. Just uh, I'd do a person's life and then them coming home to their hangout and where it's people from all over the world where they get to talk to. And you guys talk about everything from, you know, uh, uh, you know, flat Earth, believe it or not. There's people out there that think the planet is flat. I, I'll say that again. There are people out there that <laughs> think the planet, the Earth that we live on, is flat. Well, and, they're going, no, that's not true. No. And, yeah, yeah the true. planet is 5,000 years old. There are people that believe that. Uh, so you meet a variety of, of people I'm not going to call them stupid. I'm just going to call them insane. Because uh, if you believe the planet is flat, I mean, to me, again, if I met you at a, you know, if we're on a bus together, I would change my seat if I found out you were being serious about the planet being flat. That, that really, when Arcane said that to me, I didn't sleep for three days, okay? I, I never thought I would hear somebody say that. And I always thought, you're, you, you've lost the plot, man. You've completely... You're, you're, there's a whole channel on it. Yes, there's a whole channel about people thinking the planet is flat. And Arcane believed that the, that we're in a dome, glass dome. There's just the money alone, people. Think about the money. Okay, that, that would... This fucking fish tank we live in. And then the planets are all, like, painted on? That's what uh, Holographic projections holographic projections yeah he believes that if you look through a telescope and you see saturn it's actually been pre-programmed to put that image into the telescope Ooh. we're not dealing with sane people no here. not I mean, at all like, I, I think i think he's trolling on this myself i just cannot yeah. for the life of me think he's this incredibly and, and stupid. that's what i kept saying but i know he is <laughs> but that, that's what i kept saying i'm saying this guy is a troll this guy is and a troll for people that don't know what a troll is it means you're a cocksucker it just means you're a goofball honest, yeah. you know you're just being a goof and, uh, yeah, like, what's he thinking? You look in a telescope and there's six Mexican guys painting on a fucking, you know, uh, uh, drywall, you know, a picture what of What do you a... think Galileo did when he looked at Jupiter? That, so, you know, I don't, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, like, I, 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 I to, to me, I understand if this was, you know, 
200 years ago or even 100 years ago, if people want to believe that, you would kind of go, well, all right, I guess, you know, you need to... But I, I don't know. I mean, the technology uh, that's out there, we've, we've, you know, there's, there's, I don't need to go to the moon to know that people have gone to the moon. I'm not one of these people that think that was a movie that was shot by the United States. You have so many, oh, there's also conspiracy theory people out there that believe that 9-11 was a big hoax. Um, there's everything out there. And they, and Steve, you know, Steve McRae will have these channels of, where people could come in and you will talk to the weirdest or the most um, enlightened, nicest or rudest person, depending on who Inter-dish. comes in that day, depending on who it is. And uh, it's pretty, pretty cool. Like Hannah's a sweet uh, person. The godless girl is absolutely hilarious. She cracks yeah. me up. I'm sorry. I, I got to admit, she is my guilty pleasure. I mean, she is a troll. I mean, self-admittedly, but you got to admit... She's funny. Oh, fuck. She had me, like, when she goes at it with Darwin, just to, you know, like, just to give him the bolts, uh, she is somebody that I picture going on a trip with. Just just being that person that just will will uh, will say anything and not uh, give a shit, you know? And I love that about that person. I do. I, I, I do. Uh, is she a troll? Eh, I don't know. Well, she's, she's a troll. She's, she's a self-admitted troll, but I mean, good, she's not like a, har- a harmful troll, right? Yeah. I mean, she, she's got a good heart. I, I don't think she's a bad person. Um, I actually enjoy listening to some I of do. the time. I, oh, I, I love when she goes after Darren and Deity. Oh, That's fuck, just, that you, is you beautiful. can't get better than that. That yeah. is beautiful. And, uh, Joe does a good job. Floyd, I, I, you know what I saw Floyd, uh, Floyd lose it a couple times on Darwin. It takes a lot for Floyd to get angry. Yeah, but when he does, it's kind of he gets pretty brutal. Yeah, he he doesn't hold back. Like he just nope. he just is everything okay with Floyd? Yeah, I, he was. Oh, I was talking the other day. Why? Yeah, no, he was on a hangout, and some god guy, him and Skyler, were talking, and all of a sudden, the guy says, "I'm praying for you, Floyd." And Floyd's like, "Yeah, you know, I appreciate it. I'll get any help." And I guess he's going through some tough time or something. And I hope he's okay. He's a very nice man. Uh, he gave a whole. Uh, he gave a whole, uh, uh, it was like a, a two hour video or an hour video about, uh, the resurrection. That was really, really cool about how some people, you know, the, the Bible says that, you know, like three people were there. There were either, you know, then some parts like Mark or Matthew or Curly says, you know, five people were there. Yeah. It was like four different accounts of that. Yeah. Story. So he did a great job of breaking that down. So Floyd's another guy that I'll, I'll watch, um, and, and so th- these are important. It's great to watch these things. Like people think, <clears throat> you know, why do you watch these? And I go, these are just they are they are they are enjoyable. They really are. They're they're fun. Um, the one guy I couldn't stand the other day was there was this iron. Uh, I won't give the Asia. yeah. I don't want to. He's, he's a he's a fucking uh, low life. So you do get uh, racist dicks uh, on there, and it's scary. Because to me, I just think, you know, as a, as a society, you're never going to grow with that frame of mind. Uh, and I asked a, another friend if they wanted to come on. He's like, no, I don't want to talk to that loser. And I thought, yeah, you're right. Fuck I, I don't deal with the um, – there's certain criteria I have. Um, I don't deal with the racist things because it's just a, a pass – this is a doorway into nowhere. I mean, I mean – I know. People, if, people, if people are racist or bigoted or homophobic, then they don't they don't need to come to my channel. I mean, I just don't want to go down that route. Um, there's nothing I need to say to these people. Yeah. Um, they can go find another room or something. I don't want to deal with it. And uh, it's been pretty good. It's been – most people haven't. And p- people that do have their own <sighs> proclivities and bigotry, if they come into the room and they, they don't talk about anything like that and they stick to the subjects, I kind of give them the benefit of the doubt until they reach a stage where you can tell they're trying to turn the conversation – into something else yeah and that's when they're done yeah that's when they're done that's a big turn off and i got yeah. into a heated one with uh, uh fuck face the other day and it was just it was just uh i couldn't believe the shit coming out of this mouth uh you know when you're just going are you there? like you know when you walk away steve like usually i i've never I, I try not to do interviews with people or talk to people and i try not to get upset about it but I remember walking away thinking I I needed to drink a uh, half a bottle of Pepto Bismol. My stomach was so upset talking to this fucking uh, low life. Um, it bothered me. 
you know, and that's mm-hmm. why, you know, when, when Hogtide's like, I haven't seen you around. I'm like, dude, I, I, you know, I, I can't, you know, the thing is try not to take too many conversations seriously, but it's hard when you listen to people. Some of the shit they say, Steve, can be really disturbing. Like an arcane, you could kind of go, okay, he's kind of, you know, smoking some fucking crack. But, um, when people are just, uh, hatred and they're trying to spread hatred, I hate that. Vile. Yeah, to me, I I don't, that's a turnoff, big turnoff. So, uh, 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 speaking of turnoff, no, I I actually, you ever hear the interview I did with G-Man? I did, I did listen to that, yeah. Okay, so, see, G-Man, I I know G-Man gets on a few people's uh, nerves, and I know what G-Man, I enjoy G-Man, okay, the reason why I enjoy G-Man, when somebody, I got into a, like, I, again, I threatened G-Man and, we, I, you know, I apologized to him because I realized when somebody said to me, he goes, do you know he wanted to be a professional wrestler and he was being trained by a guy at WCW? Mm-hmm. Everything clicked for me. I was like, I get it. I totally get it. He knows how to perform. Uh, he's a performer. Yes. And he knows how to bring the heat, Steve. Okay. He knows how to, when he brings out the air horn, um, I mean, is it wrong? No, but you remember it, okay? And he knows that. He goes, you know, he knows that this is going to piss you off. And to me, he's just the, the, you know, everybody likes a good villain. And I think he's that villain that, I wish he wouldn't listen to Ronnie, because, I, you know, I just, I, I don't get that part. But I think he stands alone as... He can really get you, he, you know, if, if you want people to watch, get G-Man on there. You know, believe it or not, people will watch. He will. Yeah, Ronnie is an entertainer. I mean, so not Ronnie. I mean, no. G-Man's an entertainer. G- G-Man's I mean, an entertainer. And he's, yeah, he's, and, he's, and he's good at what he does as far as entertaining. I used to get along with G-Man just fine. Matter of fact, um, I don't know what happened, why we don't, to be honest with you. I, I would go into his channel. And matter of fact, the first time I was in one of his rooms, it was actually with um, the, your your best buddy, Matt Bell. <clears throat> oh, fuck. And, <laughs> and uh and uh, Paul Zigo, if you know who he is. No, I don't um, know who that is. Paul Zigo's on Drunken Peasants. Oh, and, no, uh, no. Really great guy. And and so, I mean, we, we, we talk, right? And all of a sudden, I don't know what occurred, um, but G-Man just got over the top in my room. And the bullhorn thing especially, I have people that do have ear problems. Yes, right? I know, I know. Jade. And, yes. and Jade for one and, and Jackie for another who have made it very clear. I, I mean, do they're, too. They're, I have the exact same yeah. thing Jade has. Yeah, and so when he pulls out that bullhorn, I have to I have to take that into account, right? It's yeah. not just for entertainment anymore. It actually brings pain to people, yeah. and they've made it very rare. rare. It hurts them, and G Man just didn't care. Um, my videos that I made about G Man, you know, they're just they. I mean, I, I they're think, I think not, he, they're I, not slighted to him, right? I mean, I'm not attacking him personally. I think he cares after. I think it bothers him after. He's a totally different person. If you don't have him um, on a hangout. He is a completely different person. When he goes live and there's people on there, it's like the cameras are on. It's kind of like live TV. He knows that he show has time. to do It's showtime. I have to deliver. Um, but when they're not there, Steve, he's a totally different guy. Totally. I yeah, mean, and, I, and I understand. I, I made sure, and I, I'm sure he felt like shit afterwards, uh, what he did to Jade. Um, he... Um, he he knows how to sell. He knows how to get people upset. He's great at it. Uh, I really wish the guy went into professional wrestling. I really do because I think he would make a fantastic wrestler. I really do. With the mouth that he has, if he had a huge physique, uh, fuck, he would be unstoppable. He'd be uh, the next Stone Cold Steve Austin, like uh, as a villain, you know. Uh, and he loves being the villain. And here's the thing I did with G-Man. When I talked to him, here's the big thing. Anytime you talk to any of these people about religion, it goes sour, okay? I made sure don't talk religion. And I told him that. I said, gee, man, we're not talking religion at all, okay? I'm not going to get one of those I got you moments or anything like that. Um, And he said, okay, I understand. And that's it. And it was a wonderful conversation. Wonderful conversation. And Yeah, it was good. It was a good interview. This is what happens whenever religion is brought on People just lose their minds, you know. They get all bent out of shape. They, it's it's you know. Uh, the, the, see, I think that Darwin deity is a, a, a dickhead off air, anyways. But um, 
you get guys like that, or you get a Matt Bell who thinks, I mean, I flat out asked him, I go, do you believe that your way is right? And, you know, like just say, okay, the Muslims, they're all wrong. They all go to hell. I don't believe in heaven or hell. So he's like, no, they go to hell. I just think, how, how do you know that? You know, how, how do you know that Jewish people, they all go to hell, Catholics, they all go to hell. I just think that's a wrong way. Yeah, there's no discussion with that. I mean, you just can't go anywhere with it. But I do like what you said about, you know, them, like G-Man would have made a good villain. Yes. I mean, he likes attention, whether it be positive or negative to him. Attention is attention. So he would thrive on that negative attention because that's what he does now. Um, and that's just a shtick, right? That's just, you know, his entertainment thing. I don't really fault him for it. Um, it doesn't bother me that much. It's not the same level or, or that like Ronnie's at. Who's just Ronnie's is so fundamentally wrong and everything. And yet he thinks he's just so above the people that have actually gone to school and got an education. That's what I find disturbing because he's putting yeah. out misinformation, not just religion, right? We're not talking about religion. We're talking about fundamental, basic scientific concepts. He gets completely wrong. But I think that's where if people, um, I do, that's why I think he's kind of not all there because you should admit, if you're totally wrong about a subject, okay, you should admit you don't understand it, okay? And to fake your way through it, I mean, I faked my way through a lot of things. And you know what? At the end, you look like an idiot. Yeah. You know, you always get called out. There comes a day when, you know, uh, you know, you got to show your cards. And when you get called out and you show that you cannot do the work, you look like a buffoon, Steve. And it's embarrassing, Okay. And here's the thing. And we talk about so many different topics that he thinks he's good at all of them. No, he's awful. Like he's an expert he's, in every topic. No, 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 not at all. He, see, he, he puts it in his head that he, he's one of these fucking savants, an idiot savant. Take away the, the savant, you know, like he, he thinks he is above and smart and all this. And there's no, um, yeah, you're right. Or man, man, none of this. It's all, I, I think, People are calling in his bullshit. And, you know, when he says, I quit YouTube or, you know, I'm not doing that, it, I think it gets to him where he realizes that people know that you're full of shit. I don't know if he's reached that stage yet. I think so. I think that so many people, there's so much negative shit about him and the way he behaves. There is, I mean, I've, I've, I've seen Alex Botton talk to him for a fucking hour and then at the very end like alex couldn't get a word in okay and botten at the finally at the end goes you've been babbling for an hour <laughs> like it was funny the ending was hilarious. well because i mean ronnie didn't even know what the topic was. he didn't understand what solipism was to begin with and then he's accusing alex of being one and i was like i'm not a solipist you right. know what does this got to do with anything and you know it's not much different between okay for example ronnie just recently had said oh well steve wants to come after me Every time I misspeak and I make it very clear. No, I'm not interested when people misspeak. We all do that, right? We're on, uh, on live a lot of times and, and we say things that are wrong and we correct ourselves or somebody might say, Hey, you know what? I think you may have misspoke on that. And we correct ourselves. He doubles, triples, quadruples down. And he's, you know, always saying, no, I, I I'm correct. I'm correct. I'm correct. And then two months later, like recently he said, Oh, I misspoke on the whole cytochrome C thing. If you remember that. And Yet, he, when he said that, he didn't say, well, Steve and, and Rational Mind were actually correct, right? When we pointed out that he, there's an, a problem in what he was saying, and again, not to get the technical stuff, but we pointed out there's a problem with what he was saying, he didn't say we were right. All he said was, well, I misspoke, and I meant to say this. Well, we pointed out to him that he was wrong two months prior, right. you know? And he's still saying we're, we're wrong, right? He, he misspoke, but at the same time, I and Rational Mind were incorrect. That's what I, I mean. don't know how that I works. mean, I mean, Hogtide was like, you know, we shouldn't armchair quarterback. And I'm like, well, it's hard not to. You know, it really is. Because at the end of the day, you got to go, is this guy like, are all the cylinders working in this guy's head? No, not at all. Yeah, we you all know? think that way sometimes. But it's, uh, you got, the problem is, even if that's the case, he, he's extending himself out there. He's put himself out there. He, he came into the community saying that he was the expert on DNA. And if people knew his credentials, they'd be too intimidated to talk to him. That's his words. Oh, God. Um, and then to kind of find out, he just has no training of any kind. Zero, literally. But that's zero. what I mean. When you put out that, you know, you know what it is. It's like, here's an analogy. Like, you're the toughest kid in school. Everybody thinks you're the toughest kid. Then some new kid shows up. And you got to prove that you're the toughest kid. And the new kid beats the shit out of you. Okay. 
and now you're you know you're still talking smack but you never say it around the the new tough guy it's always when the new tough guy's not around you act tough and i think that's his thing he'll have a whole show about uh you know no one wants to talk to me but you're not allowed in the show you know St- steve mccray fiona they're all terrified of me but he doesn't allow them on to talk to him about um the subject that that that's in question you know i'm actually blocked from his video and his live feed i can't even comment in his live feed to point out you know when he's wrong unless i go on the next you know, see what i mean account, i mean but yeah i mean it's that, absurd well that's you calling him out on his shit you know that's where he is finally said i cannot you know i mean there's you know for some reason the two or three people that think i'm right they're all i got um instead of coming out and saying you know what i'm totally wrong i should uh, i should grab a book and really read this shit um no he won't do that and to me if you're gonna learn off of him again you're gonna fall flat on your face when you go to a teacher and you say by the way is this right and they're gonna say no you you're an idiot Where, where'd you learn that i mean Ronnie. yeah exactly and you're gonna go you know what i'm never ever gonna go listen to that idiot again what well, do you remember the nuclear physicist he found to try to like come at me? Do you remember that? No, I don't know that. What, what happened? Um, there, he found this guy. Um, he, we just call him Sean, and uh, he went through the same nuclear engineering program that I went through. He went nuclear power school, and uh, I think he went to Knowles Atomic Power Labs. Um, yeah, he did. He did. Um, so he had a lot of the same education I had, and. He's like, hey, you know, I got this guy over here who has a degree in nuclear physics is one that you know will well, future on this stuff, right? And I'm like, oh, really? Well, okay, yeah, let's bring him over, right? And the guy came in, really nice guy. We end up agreeing on everything, right? He's like, yeah, I, you, what you're saying, Steve, is fine. It's what's, <laughs> and he's he's like, yeah, I don't particularly agree with Ronnie and those other guys over there, but you know, theologically speaking, we have a lot in common. Bet, but they're, they're his science is this. Wait a minute, he he agreed with you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, because, I mean, people are asking, people had asked, you know, about my qualifications as far as my nuclear training, and, and I even had put my, my certifications online in all nine yards, but this guy was actually, he oh went the same training God. I did. That's so like, you ever he, see that movie, the the one where you, you, my bodyguard, where the guy brings in a bodyguard, the kid, he brings in a bodyguard, yeah. and the fucking vaguely. bodyguard starts hanging out with the kid he was supposed to beat up? Vaguely. Oh, vaguely. It, was a, it, was a, it was a pretty good but movie. But it was, it, was, it would have been something similar to that, yeah, because he had asked me questions that only if I – a person that has gone through naval nuclear power school would know, right? The average person is not going to know this kind of stuff. It's th- that kind of level. Like I said, hey, you know, what's what's beta bar for uranium-235? What's the adver- average logarithmic energy ejection per collision coefficient, right? Nobody's going to know this stuff, right? <laughs> I mean, it's just not the average thing people know. And so we realized that we both did – graduate from this and the, the ronnie and his cronies were like oh well you know steve bailed out of this stuff and you know i was like no i actually did graduate from it um and, so yeah, kind yeah. Of, kind and, of and that's where um but the other the guy that you were uh that they brought in he agreed you he agreed he agreed with ronnie about the god thing no no he agreed the, the, the guy the, the nuclear physicist guy that had the same he agreed with me he, on the science, he's like, yeah, the Ronnie is not really good at science. And, you know. <laughs> oh, <man>. <laughs> so <laughs> it was kind of funny. I'm like, oh, yeah, come on over. I'll talk to him. Because I had, I had listened to him say a few things that I thought were wrong. I don't remember what it was. It was proton decay or double proton decay or something that was not quite sitting with me correctly. And, um, you know, I had asked him about it. And he said, yeah, I, I kind of made a mistake on that. But thank you for clarifying. And we actually hit it off pretty well. That's, you know? that's great. But that, that's what I mean. I mean uh, – <laughs> it's kind of weird. It's like, what did you think? The guy was going to go back to Ronnie and say, I mean, these hangouts are recorded. Uh, you could put them on. It would be one thing if him agreeing with you and then going back to Ron uh, and and then all of a sudden saying, no, no, he's, you know, Steve's guy's on drugs. He doesn't know what he's <laughs> talking about. I mean, that that to me is just fucking stupid. Well, um, we, we self-correct, right? I mean, you know, I have at any given time, I can have up to five or more PhDs in my hangout, right? And, that's, and out of 10 people, including myself, who's not a PhD, um, you know, I'd even finished my college education. I have enough credits for, for a degree in, in nuclear technologies. Um, I'm just missing like a few core classes, but I didn't finish. So I can't say that I have one, but I took a lot of other courses as well. Biology, astronomy, uh, calculus. I took a lot of, of courses and, you know, these people are going to self-correct. For example, if I say something incorrectly, you know Fiona's going to go, oh, uh, Steve, I, you know, it's, it's, yeah. it's this, this, and this. And she's going to correct me on it. I'll be like, oh, yep, you know what? Thank you very much. Um, I'll learn something, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, but she's not doing it to be an ass. She's doing it just no, to help any. you, right? Right. I but think he that's doesn't nice. that way. That's... You correct him, and he's like completely, oh, I can't be wrong. I can't be wrong. Oh, right? fuck. You, you've got, see, here's the beauty. You've got where people have paid thousands and thousands. I mean, I'm sure Fiona paid, you know, even even uh, 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 drag, you know, going to school now. He's fucking paying out the yin-yang. You could get a free education talking to these guys or, 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 uh, uh, you know, help in, you know, studying. If, if you can't afford it, you could, you could talk to these people and go, okay, can I ask, do you mind if I ask you a question, Fiona? Drag, what do you think of this? Science mm-hmm. Sam, is this right? At least you could learn something. You could walk It's like away. having a group of tutors, right? Yes. Yes, exactly. You could, you could sit Think there. Think is incredible. Yeah. You could sit there and, and go, holy shit, I am learning a ton. But him being the fucking, uh, that's what I mean, mental, uh, you know, you've, you've got this, you know, this, this tree of knowledge that you could, you could pick from, um, and you don't use it. I just think, fuck, that is so stupid of you. Anyways, he really that's gives me... That's why I'm an idiot, though. Yeah. It, it, that's why I think these people are, are the, the, what we call the clown car posse. This is why I think they're idiots. It's not so much what they know or don't know. People know and what they know, and they, they don't, they're not interested in something or they want to learn it. I get that. But to pontificate on something and not even want to learn the basics properly or take advantage of such a wealth of information yeah, yeah, in Fiona yeah. and Jade and Hawkeye and all of them, I think that is the, the height of stupidity. It is. It truly is. It truly is. I couldn't agree with you more there. I mean, I remember seeing there's one great hangout where uh, Drag loses it on him about two hours into it where he goes, it's, it's Drag just goes, it's, it's fucking two in the morning and I'm talking to a fucking idiot. Yeah. And that's, that was, sums up all our conversations. That, I literally fell off my chair laughing so hard, and it, it, it was about about twelve thirty here. I laughed so loud I woke up my wife, and she was like, uh, "What the hell are you doing?" I go, hey, "You wouldn't believe it." Ryan, Ronnie love, and Drag were that, talking, that, and she's that, like, "Are you on drugs?" And I go, oh, 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 "Oh, I kept rewinding it, just just listening to it. It was it was it was, it was like music." Wonderful. It was a wonderful Doctor. tune. He's one of my favorite people I've ever met online. Yes, yeah, smart, sm- smart him. man. Very smart. Knows his shit. Um, I've, I, I, he loves video games. I'm going to have a show about video games. But I don't want to bother him while he's studying because um, that, that is a lot. And that's the thing. Um, he'll come on. He'll do hangouts where uh, Drag will do a hangout. And he'll have like, you know, uh, like, you know, they'll talk about you know, the human cell or some new thing and. I'm like, I don't have a fucking clue. But it'll always take time to talk to you. And I just think, well, that is that is beautiful. If 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 these people want to do that, go use their knowledge. It's wonderful. I mean, if, 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 go anywhere else. Uh, try and go to the gym and ask uh, one of those shitheads that work at the gym uh, about how to, you know, properly work out. They want money. You know, they'd be like, I'm not going to tell you how to work out. You, you, you pay me. Okay. That's that's how you you learn. If you want a trainer, it'll cost you money. Fuck, this yep. is this is free shit here, where you could go out, listen to these conversations, uh, and and you could you could take a notepad, write down stuff, listen to it, and say exactly what did you mean there, Steve, when you said this. It, 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 and I, I can't see you being a dick saying pay me. No, I could see you saying, hey, this is knowledge. I want to give it to you here. Yeah. I will stop a hangout, and if somebody has a, wants uh, an inquiry, a sincere inquiry, right? That hey, you know what? I don't know what you guys are talking about. Can you kind of break it down into more digestible things? I will stop the hangout cold and take the time to uh, to explain to that person because right. um, that is a priority to me. We can talk about this stuff anytime, but for somebody who wants to learn, that is that is a high priority to me. That's so everybody wonderful. else gets on hold. That is wonderful. That truly is wonderful. That's nice of you doing that because. Yeah. But when I say not a lot of people would do that, it's not true. A lot of people would do that. You have Hogtide, Fiona, Science Sam, Drag. It goes on and on. That would I guarantee you would if you if you ask them, they will help you. Okay. Um, I wanted to ask. Yeah, spoken is is mentally challenged. We all know that. Um, what's your dealings with Darwin's deity? Um, I haven't really done much with him recently. I back in the old days. Uh, well, I guess it wasn't that old, but I mean, when he first came over from Pow Talk, uh, he'd be in Nadia's room and be running his presuppositional bullshit, and he got shot down pretty quickly. Obviously, with the Pow Talk Power Rangers, even myself, he's not that hard to really refute because he just has a script by what he goes by. 
and you get him off that script and he's done. And when I last ran into him, I was in at one of uh, Antonio's rooms and he had came in. We were actually having a decent discussion, Antonio and myself, before Antonio went off the deep end and drank the clown car posse Kool-Aid to the point he's drowning in it. Mm-hmm. But we were having a good discussion at the time and Darwin's came in and just wanted to change in about how he's being stalked and how his persecution complex makes, you know, makes him the victim. And I didn't want to hear it. Right. I'm like, Darwin's, I don't care. I'm like, you know, go, go play somebody else somewhere else. We're not changing the topic of the discussion. Yeah, he, he's done that. Talk about me. you. Yeah. He's done. Yeah. That he's done, me, yeah, yeah. That's his modus operandi. And he's, he, I'm like, you know, well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'll go back to my own room and, you know, if you want to get into the discussion, that's fine. And he actually gave Darwin's mod and ejected me, right? Um, And I'm like, okay, whatever. But that to him was, oh, Steve's running away. Steve doesn't want to talk about the issues. Steve is just being a coward. I'm like, you come into a room where we're having a decent conversation about something completely different than what you want to talk about. You want to change the topic, and therefore I'm a coward. I mean, he's welcome to my room. I have not blocked any of these guys, right? Mm -hmm. Um, Darwin's Deity and True, except for G-Man because it was Bullhorn. But but, – but the rest, they can come in, right? And they can run any argument they want, right. but they don't. Matter of fact, do you know how many times True Empirism and Darwin's have been in my room? No, I don't. Zero. Well, there are I could see why uh, uh, True Empirism, who goes by Ronnie, uh, would never, uh, he, he wouldn't go into your room. Uh, but I've been in his many, many times, and I'm the coward, right? Oh, I know. It's just, it's just amazing. Uh, to me, it's just, uh, um, you know. He's he's a uh, he's fucked up, man. He really is. He he really is. He's somebody that I I I, I do feel bad for the guy because I I remember when he made the remember when he made the website with so many errors, so many spelling mistakes, and I I laughed so hard. But then I kind of felt bad. I just thought, oh shit, he's gonna see this. He's gonna grab a rope and end it. You know what I mean? I don't want people to get to the point where if you feel like you're making fun of the person that they're going to fucking kill themselves. Because I, I would, I, if, if somebody were to, if I was that wrong, Steve, I would be so embarrassed, you know? No, he wasn't, though. Matter no, fact, he wasn't. I was, that's he, why I didn't feel sorry for him. Yeah, but not only was he not embarrassed, he actually said, well, this is, this is what happens when atheists start criticizing you know, me. And it wasn't even atheists. It was theists that were criticizing him. But they said, he said, they're only going to attack my punctuation and spelling. Which was true. People did because it was grossly bad. Not like your just minor mistakes. It was grossly incompetent. But his science was wrong. And what happened was there was actually people, believe it or not, that went in and corrected his stuff and said, hey, you know what? At least, you know, here, go upload this, right? Let me fix your grammar a little bit. Let me fix your spelling. Let me fix your scientific mistakes. Or at least put them in parentheses, I think they did. So at least he, he could look at it and see where his error was. Right. He didn't take any of that into account. Yeah, he didn't that's like, just being a dick. Just, yeah. That's just being so stupid. Like, and they were sincere. They yeah. were really sincere. Like, I, I, I don't. I, it's just, it's, it's mind boggling. It's literally mind boggling. Uh, I don't know. It's like, fuck, man. Yeah. Well, I tell you, it gives me live. It gives me live entertainment. I mean, he, I mean, I'm not. My whole channel's not dedicated to him. But I tell you what, I get a lot of. A lot of milk from that Lulz cow. I, I'm not yeah. gonna lie. Yeah, it just. I don't know. I well. I don't know. He just he's creepy. In a way he's kinda creepy. Um Well, I don't go in and talk to him anymore. I can't I won't even go to I don't even recommend anybody go engage with him. But it's if he does engage with people and he continues to put out misinformation, yeah, well I'm gonna continue to point it out. But yeah, that's the thing that people don't understand. You're gonna have people out there that will if you're gonna put out uh misinformation, people will come after you. Simple. Okay? It's that's the world we live in. If I put out shit that is completely, I mean, I purposely spell Loch Ness wrong just for people to get pissed off and say, are you going to fix the title of that? If I haven't fixed it in two fucking years, <laughs> what makes you think I'm going to fix it? And I always say, yes, thank you so much. I'll get right on that. Um, and then they're like, you haven't, it's been six months. Um, you haven't fixed that. It's like, fuck off. You know, like, like get a lot. I don't like the spelling grammar Nazis. I don't like. No, all, I, but, I can't stand. But his, but his page was so bad. Dude. Oh, it was, it, it was, he got the word the wrong. Are you kidding it, me? He got the word the wrong. It, it was second grade. It was literally, and I'm not even trying to be, you know, ha- using hyperbole. I'm not trying to be mean or detrimental to his, no, I, his I, education, yeah. but my God, it was second grade. But if you're going to have, if you're going to put stuff like that out there, okay, I'm just talking about uh, 
a, you know, a title for, uh, you know, people are going to get bent out of shape for a title for putting out the information that he has that is so out of the ballpark wrong. You're going to have people that study this stuff that are going to go, what is this fucking idiot talking about? You can't say stuff like that. You know, I mean, Science Sam would have his coffee morning, uh, his, his morning talks. We'll just go, today, Ronnie did this. And he would explain why it went wrong. Um, when you got people constantly correcting you, don't you feel ashamed? Don't you sit there and say, oh, fuck, I got I to gotta fix that. I you don't know? think they do. I don't think they even no, know what that, that would be the first like. thing I would do. That would be the, the very first thing is fix it. Okay, because I, I don't want somebody making a video saying, God, you got you didn't get it wrong. You got it idiotic wrong. Okay, that is the worst. When you get it idiotic wrong, okay, when they're telling you that it's, you know, not, you know, eighth or ninth grade, when they say it's second grade, you're fucking stupid at that level. Okay. Well, I, I, you know how many videos that people have made against me, and none of them have ever pointed out any real any error that I made. Really, I mean, did I, literally Nephim Free and um, Ronnie. Yeah, but not, not, all these guys make videos, but never point out where I made my yes, mistake. At. Yes, I'm like, but Nephlin is completely from Pluto. He is fucked in the head. Oh, that yeah. guy. Okay, you're 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 talking about a guy that that plays with a ping pong ball. You know, he he really is. Uh, he's a he's in a world class level of his own. Yeah, he and he and I I, I think he's also a a, a, a lying sniveling uh, uh, you know person. I, I do. Ronnie, uh, I again I think he does have something mentally not all there. I'd love to see his medicine cabinet. I'm sure it'd be like uh, I take this in the morning. I take this two hours later, and I take. Four of these just before I this go to helps bed. with the voices. This yes, and this blue one. Ooh, I love the blue ones. Ooh, I take three of the blue one today. Yeah, it's just he, I guarantee you, he's got a medicine cabinet full of shit just just to keep him from not grabbing a fucking gun and ending it. Um, I hope he doesn't, you know, but I, I hope he doesn't take anybody with yeah, him. Yeah, I mean, I, I wish no ill will toward Ronnie or even Nephi, who who is a bigger pain in the ass than Ronnie is even. Yeah, but, Nephi is. You yeah. know, the, the, all we can do is is you know wish them well, but continually point out the people their fundamental errors and let people decide for themselves and if people want to think that they know what they're talking about that ronnie and nephew are the go-to people as the science people in this community um yeah well more power to you good yeah, luck with that there will be consequences there know. will be consequences. i remember my my uh, my child said to me dad and she wanted to know about world war ii and i made up this story about hitler uh i think i was i just finished watching uh uh, what was that movie Tarantino made? Oh shoot! Um, uh, oh my goodness. Inglorious Bastards. Glorious Bastards. Yeah, very good movie. I love. Yeah, that. I made up the, all this shit. Uh, oh, fuck. Two days later, she comes back furious. She got an F. She's like, Dad, why did you tell me this? The teacher said, and I said, you wrote that down. You know, like I, 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 I said something like Hitler nearly won. Um, um, oh, and she took that to heart. Oh, I had something. She's like, uh, was Hitler homophobic? I go, no, Hitler was gay, you know? Wow. And she wrote all this shit down and, uh, oh, fuck. Wow. Uh, that, yeah, and I was like, sweetie, you got to tell me. You know I go off on these stupid tangents. Um, but yeah, if if, if you're going to take a, a Ronnie's work or Neffy fucking his work and apply it to the real world... You will look absolutely um, idiotic, for lack of a better word. You will look idiotic. Um, what are your thoughts on... I, I See, I always thought you were an atheist, but you say you're... Um, uh, what's the person? I, I mean, I'm, I, well, I title Agnostic. myself... Yeah, I, I don't like to label. No, I'm just kidding. I do like to label. I like, I like, I like to like categories. But I title myself as a apotheistic, agnostic, theological, and cognivist. And... I, I, to get and not get into the, the, the depths of it, I look at the theological position of God's existence, and I say, you know what? I don't know either way, right? I don't have an opinion on this. Um, I take the third position, not yes, not no, but I don't know, which is going to be an agnostic stance. But I'm apatheist to it when I'm online in my hangouts for the most part because I don't really – care too much what a person believes i want to know what they can demonstrate I, when they come in and they say hey look steve the earth is seven thousand years old moon dust really <laughs> you know i'm like so you're going to use moon dust to to say that the earth is only seven thousand years old well how does this work my friend um it doesn't matter what the religion is per se they're talking about science at that point right mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So I, I just say I'm apotheistic because I don't really care if somebody comes in and they're Buddhist, if they're Muslim, if they're Mormon or Jew. It makes no difference. The science is, is the same to each person. So I want to see what they can actually demonstrate. And when they start running these really odd claims, like even the moon dust thing is even on AIG, Answers in Genesis, says don't use this. They, they even say don't use this argument. Um, then I, I, I think to myself, okay – what level of a person we're dealing with? If the person is just coming up with this, the most asinine young earth creationist claims, oh, Piltdown Man or Nebraska Man, or do they actually have something to offer? Um, like, hey, you know what? I think Tompkins is right about the human chromosome fusion. Um, I think that there's, you know, that doesn't show common ancestry because this, this, and this. It's not, a, it's not a telomeric fusion or something. We can discuss that, right? And that's a little bit higher level. Those are the kind of people that I've gone after because I, I think you know. I mean, I've I've addressed you know Ken Hoven, I've addressed Eric Hoven, um, I've talked to Dr. Shafati um, from Creation.com online. We are looking for people that want to come in and have an actual engagement, an actual intelligent conversation, and not just the run of the mill. What I call the fruit on the ground. I even got a series on that, the fruit of ground creationist. Mm-hmm. That doesn't really do me any good, right? I mean, if, how many times can you go over Piltdown, man? I mean, really. Mm-hmm. Have you talked to Eric Coven? Oh yeah, oh yeah. He's a weasel. Head, he, yeah. He, so, what, what was your take on him? He's a weasel. He is a fucking weasel. Yeah, he's a weasel. Yeah, complete nutter. No I, I don't think it. he believes this shit at all. Yeah, I, I, I think, I think he actually got to some point where he was like, you know what, this is complete bullshit. But hey, it pays the, the light bill, right? Oh yeah, huge. I mean, there's no heavy lifting, right? So yeah, didn't he, didn't his dad leave him eleven properties? And, well, no, yeah. not necessarily. What happened was Eric kind of took over his ministry and kind of swindled him out of it. Um, and I, I kind of, I kind of feel for him a little bit because he was protecting his mom, uh, who I do feel sorry for. I mean, you know, they got divorced, right? Yeah. And you know, he's he's already he's engaged again with that married uh, taco chick. No, I don't. The anti vaxxer No, I do. You that? You're talking yeah, about you, uh, Hoven, the you know, the yeah, old Ken Hoven elder. Yeah, engagement. He's engaged. He's engaged to who? Uh, Mary Taco, I think her name is. She's a big anti vaxxer. Oh. oh, great. Another a loon marrying a loon. Yeah, so exactly. So a loon marrying a loon. Right. Um, but I, I but think, yeah, I think he is another uh, person who, I, I you know, I, I love watching the old debates and I'll watch a 2000, I think it was 2004, where him and Michael Shermer went at it. And it was scary, Steve. Like he was talking about. Um, and Michael Shermer, I, I like him, but he always sits there with that fucking idiotic smile on his face instead of being angry and saying, no, you're fucking wrong. Michael Shermer just laughs and go, <laughs> no, no, the, you know, was that with Kent or was that with Eric? That was with, uh, he did it with both. Actually, he did, he did oh, it did first he? with the father. And then he, uh, I think that you're talking about the call in one where, where, uh, uh, Eric called in on the phone. But if you, there's one where they're at a school. Okay, and they have both of them sitting there at the school. Listen to this, and listen to uh, 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 Hoven, Kent Hoven, Doctor Hoven, who fuck is not a doctor Ew. at all. That um, cringes me. With the, uh, yeah, like watch this, and you just go, "Holy shit!" And the class believes I, he must have been in some Christian school, uh, uh, young Earth. I don't know what the fuck he, but but they were totally buying everything that. Uh, uh, the snake oil uh, salesman was talking about. He was just so full of shit, talking about the the Grand Canyon. Uh, the way he talks, you know how fast he talks? You know, he's just blah, 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 like a machine gun. And uh, it was... Yeah, we just got to get all that bullshit out at once. Yeah, I yeah. Mean. And it just, just, Shermer's just like, eh, 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 eh. and I'm like, Shermer, just get up there and kick this shit out of him. Like, I miss Christopher Hitchens so much. Yeah. Uh. He was a he was really brilliant at that how how he can just pinpoint in on it and get to the heart of the matter. Yeah, that just anyway. So um, yeah, he is a little. They're both fucking. So he ended up uh, pr- you say protecting his mom by taking the land or what, what yeah he... because I think there was I mean I I, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to like accuse Kent of anything. Um, I mean I got along with him okay when I when I talked to him and I have talked to him more than one occasion, but um, I think that I think there were some problems merit in the marital things um I, I think that he probably he knew barry for a long time i mean before he went to jail so it's not this is like something that's like new so uh i think that they weren't the christian christian wholesome family as they they appeared to be as as holden you know try to come across i think it's a just a, a, a business to them you're right uh, yeah i mean obviously it's the eric i mean 
what is it? Creation Today? Is that the name of his? Yeah, name? yeah. Creation yeah. Today. Um, I mean, they sell the tr- lay a trail for God's sake, amygdalin, which is uh, basically something that they call vitamin B C, which is not. But it, it actually breaks down and produces uh, cyanide in your system. Oh. And contrary to what Hoven says, Hoven's like, "Oh, it's perfectly safe." I'm like, "Where's well, where's your medical licenses to say that it's perfectly safe?" Because I don't know if you remember the uh, '60s and '70s, Laetrile was banned as a cancer cure because women were dying by taking Laetrile sure. and not getting proper treatment for pre- breast cancer. So, do you not remember any of this? You know, there, Mister Kent Hoven. Fuck, he needs to go back to jail. I mean, once a once a scumbag, always a scumbag. Um, I don't know. Like, uh, what I heard was uh, Kent Hovind had a whole bunch of... He had 11... Who was it that did a great job on... He, he What was his name? I've, I've, I've interviewed the guy. He, he did a great... Uh, you say his name? Uh, what was... What, that did what? <laughs> he did a great uh, ex- expose on Kent Hovind. About uh, uh you, King Crocoduck? He did no one. fuck. I I think it, what, what am I talking about? It was Hogtide. Hogtide did a great oh, did a great uh, uh breaking down what Hoven did. Um and it was really, really, you know, you're like you're like, holy shit. Yeah, that was a while ago. Yeah, um, that was a while ago, but he did an awesome job on it. Like it was it was like Yeah, the real he's something like the real story behind Kent Hoven or something. I know what you're referring to, but I, I it's been a while since I watched that. Yeah, but I heard he had some like he he gave everything for Eric, and then Eric when he got like when when Kent got out of prison, Eric did not give him back the land. Something along those lines. Yeah, he basically you know it was for for he was hiding his assets and right. and uh, he you know he transferred all his stuff to Eric and Eric swindling him out of it because he was basically like you know what this is mine now bitch. Yeah. Oh, what a fucking weasel. Yeah, he actually charged. He was actually charging Kent rent in his own house. Really? Yeah, he actually charged Kent rent. And he's like, a, "Where did you?" Own- he's like, "Where did you know?" Like Kent's like, "Why are you I, like? Wh- who taught you to be a fucking loser?" And he's like, "You did, Doug. You? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's kind of self." And he, I bet you had a tear in his eye, Kent. He's like, "You are the best. You here? He's sending. He's giving. I'm so money. proud of you. You are so. Exactly. You are a. Fucking, you learned. You are a sniveling weasel." You have, have done the Hoven name uh, uh, justice. Justice. So getting back to the gone thing. So you don't believe in them. Um, you do, but you don't. Well, I, again, I'm agnostic on it. Um, I, I tend to be a skeptical, obviously. Like, do you, do you, like when you're driving really fast, you're on like, like you know, uh, an AC road. Do you sit there and go, yeah, I do believe in God. But then no, what, but like when I meet some hot chick and she has an interest in me and then I'm like, thank you, Jesus. That's what I do. Uh, but that's, that's about it. That's exactly what I do. I am totally into the whole God thing. If the girl's into it, I'm yeah, I mean, I mean, that's my, you know, screw intelligent design. You want to convince me that God exists? You know, got women. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But do you think that when you, when you do pass that, uh, at least, uh, you, like, do you, what do you think? Do you think something's there? Or what do your belief on the whole thing? Do you think that there is a, 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 a It's maker? quite possible, but, I, well, it's quite possible, but I, see, I definitely think that you can disprove certain types of gods, right? For example, the young earth creationist God does not exist. This does not exist. I'm a complete atheist when it comes to somebody saying that the earth created or God created the earth in 7,000 years. I mean, there's just absolutely no evidence to support that. And all the evidence, not just some, but every shred of evidence has a consilience toward about 4.54 billion years old, right? right? So if they say, well, my, my religion, my theology, my epistemic foundation is based upon god's existence and that god is the god of a seven thousand year old earth and that's how he did it well then i don't believe in your god right you know but if you tell me you know what there's a god that you know created everybody i don't know how he did it i just have faith that he did and hope things you know are the best and and, and maybe maybe we'll be have salvation afterwards or there's like life after death i'll see my family again whatever you want to believe on that i don't have a major problem with that right no me too if that's what you want to believe i yeah i totally get that yeah if that's yeah I, 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 Maybe I, there is. Maybe there isn't. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not going to sit there and go, uh, there's 100, 100% proof. There's nothing there. Um, when I hear people, uh, who was I talking to? But he was in, maybe it was even spoken because he said something idiotic. And I was like, I, I feel sorry for you on that one. Then. Oh, fuck. He just, he gives, you know what he did? He just annoys me. He goes, he said something so fucking stupid. Like, I'm like, he's talking about ghosts, about, um, you know, demons, and he goes over a friend's house, and in the corner of the room, 
um, he heard growling, you know, and I just thought, okay, great, you know, and he said, you know, okay, you heard growling, and he goes, yeah, you know, and it turns out that the, the place was haunted. That's his evidence? Yeah, and I'm, I'm like, so, okay, and then I, I gave um, an example, like I just said, okay, well, you know, you could buy, um, like, this is just, you know, you could buy liquor at a store. You can't, you got to be 21 to buy liquor at a store, but you could be fucking 12 years old and buy a Ouija board, you know. Uh, you know, you could summon demons uh, at 10, but you got to be 21 to to uh, buy beer. Um, you know, you could grab a Ouija board and, you know, you could summon demons that way, uh, which I don't think you're summoning demons. I just, I think it's you moving it. You, you've not... No. I've actually used those before, and, and um, I, I I do believe it's you moving it, but it is very it feels really real. It, yeah, it does. It, it, you, you've you've obviously used one. It it, it feels like somebody pulling on it, right? But when you break it all down, you know, you're like, okay, this probably is audio, audio motor effect. It, you know, it is my own subconscious. Yeah, um, that's what I believe it is. And I looked yeah. into it just to see that, and I looked into it. So I said that to him, and he goes, "Well, that's irrelevant." Why would that be irrelevant? Yeah, I know, and he just. It, to me, it was like, ah. it just felt like a knife going through my head. And I'm like, just. Spoke, well, Spoken and Antonio both argue that way, right? When they don't know something, instead of actually addressing the, the criticism or the argument, what they do is like, yeah, hey, that's a fallacy. Or uh, you don't know what you're talking about. Or, um, oh, that's so trivial. I'm not even going to address it. I mean, they just throw out these these things to just dismiss it I'll rather talk. than address the criticism every he, time. I don't think he knows what fucking irrelevant means. You know, like I just think it's just like irrelevant. Remember, uh, I don't think you remember, uh, but the little rascals. There used to be one kid that used to say "remarkable," just just the, the, the most asinine moments. Whenever somebody would fuck up, you just "remarkable." That's spoken. Remarkable. Just, just to throw something out there. Yeah, just 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 to to uh, you know go out in the uh, the the air and disappear, and then everybody just walk away, going, "Wow, that was stupid." Um, yeah, he, well, so, he does say some of the dumb. So remember, folks, we do not want to make fun of people, um, but the uh, to to win a thirty uh, day membership for Kimmy Kaboom, uh, you get thirty days. You could see her uh, uh, totally, you know, in and out the whole shaboom. Uh, remember that the what is the uh, the secret word, Steve? Oh, the secret words of the rocket Ronnie is wrong. Right? <gasps> no. Yeah, Rocket Ronnie yeah. is wrong. Put that because it's better. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You're right. Correct. Yeah, I got to do the whole thing. Rocket Ronnie is wrong. Yeah, and then if you get that, you get 30 day uh, membership at the end of the month. I promise you, this isn't a a, a joke for real. Uh, so, folks, uh, any the last thing you want to plug there, Steve? Um, no, I had a great time. Thank you very much. This is an honor. Um, I was thrilled to death that you asked me to do this and this has been amazing to me. So thank you very much. No, no, I love the conversation. I love having a conversation with somebody. I mean, I've done this where I've had a conversation. I had it with a, uh, it was a, a person in a horror movie. She was been in, she's been in tons of horror movies, but I didn't even put it out, Steve, cause she annoyed me so much and she was just so fucking into herself. I didn't. Even, it was just so you know. You're you're talking to somebody. You're like, I, I said we'll go like we'll, we'll go an hour, and I'm like, within like ten minutes, you're like, oh jeez, you know. I ended up ordering a pizza while I was talking to her. Like <laughs> you're, you're watching the old episodes of Little House on the Prairie. Oh my god, um, it was. But awful. I would. I mean, if people want to join the Great Debate community, I mean, you want to put that information. Yeah, out. I want to. And they were actually community yeah. on G Plus called the Great Debate Community. Yeah, totally. I want to plug your uh, channel, uh, folks. If you get a chance, check out Steve McRae. I'm going to put the link at the bottom of this video. You go to his YouTube channel, um, check out the videos, and don't be shy. If you want to go into these discussions, please go. Google Plus. Uh, Steve doesn't bite. Uh, you know, he, well, he might. I nibble. He nibbles. But they're a lot of fun. And, if you know, you just just uh, uh, enjoy yourself. Don't don't just sit on the couch and, and think... Oh, uh, hey, uh, you know, some people are like, like Benya. Benya is great. That's, that's one guy <laughs> if I ever wrote a movie. Benya is one of those people that, um, he doesn't say a word, but he's like, he's there in the corner, you know, he's there and he says some pretty funny things. <coughs> if you go on Google plus, um, yeah, you'll, you'll meet some of the most interesting people. I know we've been putting down a lot of people and, and 
please don't think we're just making fun of, we are kind of making fun, but not everybody's an idiot on there. There's a lot of good people. Go out there, see for yourself, and check out Steve McRae's channel. If you want, check out his Patreon, because um, it takes a while. I mean, he, he, he does work hard at these things, and every day he's there. And uh, again, uh, uh, remember the secret word, okay? So, Steve, thank you so much for your time, man. Thank you very much. Okay, folks, you've been listening to the Wrecking Crew Comedy Podcast. I'm Vito D'Amico, and uh, I'll talk to you soon, all right? Take care, be good, and uh, don't listen to stupid people.